We've been talking about inventory and I've shown you kind of the basics and we just did case breaks. So you saw that recipe function. So I, I really want to make a clear differentiation about how inventory and at the timing that inventory is depleted or stock is depleted from inventory, okay? So let's go back and let's look at that um, specific item that had the, the recipe function. So what we're going to do is we're right here in inventory maintenance. I'm going to bring my, my item up real quick. So we're, we're here with the 16 ounce Diet Coca-Cola again. Let's go back to that recipe. And you remember right here, we have this recipe listed. Now, let's go and see where in the settings that we can adjust those. So I went to setup, setup screen, inventory. Now, deducting ingredients, you see right here. This right now, I have it set at the end of the sale. We also can deduct ingredients at the time of preparation or never. Now. Uh, let's say you're making sandwiches uh, and you're going to have ham and cheese and multiple items and bread, you know, things like that. And you want to actually, at the time of preparation, de deplete those from inventory, okay? And then you can track for waste if it gets wasted or, or what have you. But I wanted you to see that clear differentiation within deducting ingredients uh, that at the end of the sale, at preparation, and never. Now we're actually going to talk about kits. Kits or gift baskets or however you'd like to describe them within your business are actually designed in the software to be deducted from inventory at the end of the sale, okay? So actually, I'm gonna show you how to create a kit and give you a little bit of an explanation about what, what are some good ways to use them and then get creative with it. So we're gonna to go to Options, Administrative, Kit Maintenance, right there. All right, now I've already created a kit right here and basically what I did is I took this card right here and I ran it underneath the barcode when I clicked on kit number. I've chosen my department right here and you can see that it's, I named it mixed beer. So basically I got uh, the fundamental components there so that we can go ahead and, you know, we're pretending like we're a liquor store, so let's sell a few mixed beers, okay? So you choose your department, you put your kit number in there, and you can just hand type one, but definitely you want to create a barcode most of the time so you can just scan it and sell it very easy for your cashiers. So we've named it. We can also assign a friendly printer and that's kind of the, the terminology within the software is printers that are native or already created within the system. So now we're going to actually add a, uh, a few items that have specific costs and a calculated price and a price override. Now the price override is to say, okay, well, we could add all those prices together that we usually sell them as an individual item, as individual items, but now we're going to override the price and create our own item, okay? So let's do a couple of mixed beers and uh, let's see how that looks. Now, this is that search inventory screen that we were looking at earlier, okay? So let's search by department and let's search by beer. And we're gonna look through here, and let me take a second and put a few items in, okay? All right, I've created kind of a gift pack, uh, a couple of six packs and a couple of just uh, individual beers. And you can see here that all of those items are populated right here. And again, we went to that lookup and we searched. Now you can scan those items. So if you have them in front of you, you can just go ahead and scan them. Like let's say you're actually creating a gift basket and you're gonna wrap it in saran wrap or something like that. Definitely having those items right there, your first kit that you're gonna create, go ahead and create it. Uh, by scanning the items in the search uh, screen that we were just at. So you see right here, I have all of the items right here. They're a uh, typical discount, a typical price, and the actual cost that it's going to be to us. So what we have is we have the calculated cost per, we have the calculated price. This is dynamic. This is what happens. It all adds together. Uh, and you can also see that we're actually going to do a price override now. So we're going to go up here. And you see the calculated price is $18.26. Let's discount it a little bit and make it $16.99. All right, now we're good. It's $16.99, and I went ahead and checked the ID as well just uh, to make it as a, as a kit to individually uh, sell those things and check IDs, okay? So that's basically how a kit is created, and we can push next, or what we really need to do before we do that is click Update, and the kit is created. A couple more things with kits. Let's actually sell it see what it's going to look like, and then let's check the sales summary within the kit maintenance portion, okay? So I've got my card, prompted me to check the ID, I'm going to check the ID. Now, you can have a scanner that's going to automatically do that, and that's great. All right, so we also have right here the entire kit is created and the price, okay? And you see right here there's the total. Let's go ahead and pay for this. We'll just do cash. The drawer's going to pop. I'm not going to print a receipt. Uh, but anyway, let's go and look at the sales summary and see how this is going to look, okay? So we're going to go back to Options, 
administrative, kit maintenance, and let's look at those kits. So you see right here, I just have one kit created. Let's go to the sales summary. Now what you're going to want to do is you can click year, and this is just basically one of those things. This is each of the months right here. So we're in January, and it's going to be right there. So we've sold this specific kit, and we've sold one, okay? So you can see that um, this, it's very easy just in, within kit maintenance to just do a quick search uh, of what's sold. Now, when we get to the reporting section, you're going to be able to see uh, a lot more reporting per item, okay? So that's really going to cover everything with kits. I encourage you to use them. They're a great tool.